Hi, my name is Emily and this is Grace and we're just going to share some reflections of how prayer life has been as a family. So Grace, when we think about how we've tried to engage with prayer as a family, has there been anything that you found helpful for you in your journey? Um, so there's been quite a few, but one of them is prophetic objects because it like helped me see God, but like through everyday objects instead of like just the Bible or, you know, like devotions. Um, great. So yeah, prophetic objects. This is something we do as a family. We learnt about it whilst at Catalyst Festival quite a few years ago. And it is really simple. It's essentially you just gather a load of objects from around the house, lay them all down on the floor, then have some time as a family asking God to guide you and highlight a particular object to you. And then as you hold that object, you ask God to speak to you. And it's a way of engaging with, I guess, the listening side of prayer, listening to God um, speak to you with truth. Um, and so on one occasion, uh, my son picked the uh, wet wipes here. And he said, when we asked God to speak to him about it, he said he thinks God's saying that he's going to wipe away our tears. And it was really encouraging because we could then show him in the Bible how that's true, how it does say in Revelation that God's going to wipe away our tears. Um, so that just showed that there was some sort of truth uh, in his heart from that. Um, on another occasion, I think it may have been you, Grace, you picked up the plug and said how you felt God was saying that we need to stay connected to him and receive our power from him, which again was really profound and encouraging through something really simple. And on another occasion, I think we just had a pair of glasses there and um, felt God was saying that he wants to give us eyes to see things as he sees things. Um, so some really profound truths through some simple everyday objects that I think just made it a bit more engaging um, and a bit more of an accessible way to hear God through prayer. Um, and has there been anything else in particular, Grace, that you found helpful when it comes to engaging with prayer as a family? Um, so it's not like a certain thing, but like it's more like when you're focusing on certain topics of prayer about rather than like all of them at a time, because mm. it broke it down rather than like piling it all up or all the different mm. things you pray about because there's loads. Mm. So I guess it feels a bit overwhelming if we just say let's pray and then don't give any specific guidance or if we just so let's pray about too many things at once you like to have a specific thing to pray for at a time and that helps you to engage um yeah and I think I'm similar I like to pray for specific things and to intercede but sometimes I struggle with my memory <laughs> so there's an app that I use called prayer mate which I find really helpful because then if I've committed to praying for something I can log it on my prayer mate and it reminds me and um, on prayer mate you can create lists for things that you pray for um, so I have a list that is called family and I've got all your names as um, separate sort of topics on that list that I can pray for so sometimes it will come up and it will, it will remind me to pray for you um, and another thing we've started getting in the habit of doing as a family is at the start of term we'll ask the kids what they would like prayer for and they'll give us a few specific prayer points and I, again, I log that on my prayer mate app and pray throughout the term for those things that they've requested. And I think we've seen real encouragement with that because the kids have seen that I am praying and have sort of been faithful to that promise. And then I think we've seen real answer to prayer as well. So the things that they've asked for prayer for at the start of term, God has answered. And that's been really encouraging and helped to build faith. Um, but when I think about other aspects of our family prayer life uh, there have definitely been some challenges with having kids of different ages um, and different stages of life uh, does make it challenging we've always tried to have some focused devotional time built into our week weekly routine with mixed successes <laughs> perhaps sometimes it's gone really well I definitely think it's been really worth persevering with even though it's been challenging at times because I think we have had some really profound moments and it's helped us grow closer to each other and to God um, mostly but obviously I'm sure you can imagine it's also been quite hard and again I think for every family it will have different challenges um, but I think the challenge to find the time to commit to Having sort of family devotion is hard, uh, challenging to manage our expectations because I think the amount of time you can spend when you've got toddlers or teenagers <laughs> um, perhaps is pretty hard as well. Um, 
And then I think it's finding resources. Um, we've explored a lot of different things over the years. Um, Grace, are there any particular resources that you think have been helpful that we've used? Um, yeah, so there's this one, which is Purpose Driven Life, which is quite good because it has like a Bible verse and then it has some like passage about it, like down there, and then it gives you like a prayer about the passage. And that's been good, but like when I was younger, I used to find it a bit harder because um, well, the writing is a bit smaller and mm. well, it's less colourful. <laughs> when you're like little, you like the pages are full of pictures and stuff. But it has been good as well. Yeah, so that's a good point. I guess this is really nice and bite-sized. It could be done over the dinner table. Short devotionals that just help focus, I guess, our prayer life as a family. But as you say, the younger age maybe would prefer things with more colourful pictures. Um, so this resource was quite a good one. This is called Indescribable by Louis Giglier. And again, the um, size of devotionals are nice and short and sweet. We've got a Bible verse there, some explanation with some sciencey facts, which is quite interesting. And then it leads you in prayer as well, based on what you've read here. Um, but there's more colours, there's more pictures, so it's perhaps more engaging for um, younger children. As Grace said, she preferred that when she was younger. Um, there's also Lectio 365, which is another app that we've used, or the Bible Project videos. Um, another thing we've done as well in our family sort of devotional time is let the kids lead it a little bit. So it's not always just us trying to direct them into prayer, but sometimes we'll ask them, you know, what do you think would be helpful for us to do today as a family? Um, how have you found that, Grace? Has that been okay? Yeah, that's been good because you get to like choose the topics that you um, want to learn more about or like you're interested in because mm. it will help you. So hopefully it then feels less enforced and pressured because it's something that you can guide yourself, like you say, as to what you're hungry to learn about or what you're wanting or what's topical for you, what's going on in life or what you have questions about. Um, and obviously for our youngest member of the family who is quite a lot smaller, um, again, it will be adapted to what he wants and the week that he's sort of leading it. Um, so often that involves watching a um, beginner's Bible cartoon of a story that he likes. Um, I think his favourite one is Jonah at the moment, which seems to have been popular as well. You liked that when you were little too. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think letting the kids take some lead with it, letting them have some ownership, choosing. Sometimes they would choose just to do prophetic objects. Other times they would want to read something or watch something or use one of the resources. Um, I think that's just helped so that it's not too enforced. Um, but that's mostly it with our reflections on prayer life as a family. Um, like I say, there's been some good moments and some challenges, but I hope some of our reflections have been helpful as you engage with Prayer Week this week. Thank you.